Hi Capricorn, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is all about you. Um, this is for Capricorn sun, moon, rising signs. Actually, it's Capricornian energy. So wherever Capricorn influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days out from when you hear this video. Let's get right into it. We're gonna do a full oracle card spread here on YouTube and then there's an extended link that includes a full tarot card spread, an in-depth extension to this reading, and your romance predictions. The first card out, flying all over the place. Loving it. Why? Let it shine. Let your voice shine. Get out there. Put yourself out there. Like, actually talk to people. Say things. Right before, we're, we're going into a retrograde on, on February 17th. So this is a good time to get stuff done before things kind of become a shit show and communications fail. So put it out there. Let it go. Put it out there. This is almost like the, the sowing period, um, the planting period, where you're, you're sowing the seeds. And then you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait for it to grow through the retrograde. That's what, what happens is it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some time, Capricorn, for the seeds that you planted to work it work its way up and sprout. Remember, they have to grow their roots first. And then there's gonna be something that's coming out of it. So that's what this is telling me. A beautiful, beautiful time to plant those seeds because there will be so many wonderful things that will come out of the seeds that you plant today for tomorrow. Four uh, plus six, 46. Four plus six is 10. This is the energy of completion, of a life cycle completing, and a new life cycle beginning. Uh, Phoenix energy is, um, peacock, peacock spirit is also Phoenix energy. Uh, which is resurrecting, you know, new life, life out of death. This is coming out of the ashes. This is coming into the light. This is spotlighting yourself. Put yourself out there. This is a great week for you, Capricorn, to put yourself out there and take those chances and take those risks. Uh, market, network, hit on people, flirt with people. Um, let it shine. Let it shine. Let you shine. It's like the truth shine. Your voice shine. Let yourself be heard. Um, also, let the truth shine. Yeah, like, like let... This could somehow... Oh, excuse me. This could also be sort of revealing the truth or talking the truth, speaking the truth, saying the truth that needs to be said or the truth coming out as well. But we'll get into the reading and see how this can be applied because this is your crowning energy. It could be applied in multiple, multiple different ways. But for right now, this is a very beautiful crowning energy because it's saying that there is a newness and freshness on the horizon. You can see it. You can spot it. It's coming. Um, plant the seeds now, 100%. I keep getting that message over and over again. Plant the seeds now, Capricorn, because the seeds that you plant today are going to reap wonderful fruit tomorrow. Um, and plant them before this retrograde comes up, please. Because, because this has so much to do with speaking out and your voice shining and, and, and letting yourself be heard and known, it's really important to get all of that out before communications go down. So definitely work overtime now. And then just sit back during the retrograde and don't expect to hear anything during the retrograde. Don't expect to hear anything. Whatever you hear, you'll hear. Um, but there's a lot falling all over the place. Hold on. Hold on. So by the way the cards are acting, there's a lot, there's a lot, first of all, it's all shooting out at once. So this actually takes on a little bit of a different meaning in that it could, not different meaning, but an expansion of this meaning is that seeds that you planted a while ago could be coming to light now. Okay, um, we have two more cards flipped upright. Slow and steady wins the race and watch your words. This is picking up on the energy of the Mercury retrograde that's coming up, having to wade our way through it, really speak your truth and plant the seeds before it comes. And then you're just gonna have to have faith and feel really comfortable, go with the flow and not try to talk too much or say too much. This could also be judgments coming in, judgments coming down, uh, having people speak against you or words speak against you. But I really think this is, this is just going through that slow motion time when your words aren't going to be as effectual. So it's almost like watch out for that. It's coming up. Um, take time out. 
Oh, wow, this is playing right into the Mercury retrograde. Take time out. It's going to be hard for you to take a step back, but I feel like as long as you overwork yourself and exert yourself over these next couple of weeks, remember we're going into the shadow period too. The shadow period of retrograde can be even worse than the retrograde itself. But plant those seeds now because during the retrograde, they're gonna, it's gonna be a beautiful, wonderful time for them to prosper and grow. And I feel like if you've really worked yourself hard, Capricorn, if you've really dedicated yourself to sowing as many seeds as possible, you'll it'll have that faith in you to carry it through and then you can just take some time out and just let the next month month and a half go I remember on the daily reading today there was a beautiful a message of a month and a half out so there's a little bit of stagnation that's coming up so I don't want you to take it personally those seeds that you're planting are definitely going to get you somewhere it's just that they're taking time to root themselves during the re retrograde period so know that take time out relax let yourself enjoy yourself there's also a pleasure, I think, in you sowing the seeds. There's a, there's a pleasure that you're getting from doing the work. You want to be active. It actually helps to heal your soul. So this is like take time out from all the talk and all the craziness and just 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 grind that pedal to the metal. Like, like just, just start pounding that pavement. It's going to make you feel really, really good. So that take time out can actually be sort of... Um, almost a call and response, a response to all the work you're doing now. You'll be ready is what I'm saying to just take a second, take a second. It's also, you could be coming up against some sort of defensive words, somebody protecting themselves. There's, there could be a very defensive energy too um, of, of some sort of block coming before you or um, defensiveness, defensiveness with words. There's a lot of nines here in front of me. Um, meaning that something is coming to a head, something is coming to completion. So it could very well be that you're having to, or you feel you have to defend yourself from somebody's words or people could act defensively toward your words if you behave too aggressively. So this is slow and steady wins the race. Just have patience and be gentle. And that's how you get through these blocks in communication that are coming up. Um, here we have use your mind wisely. When pigs fly, this is when the impossible happens, Capricorn. So good stuff. This is the central energy. So I feel like this is this is your center. This is your core. You're committed to making the impossible happen. You're committed to making these breakthroughs. You've sort of got your sense of self back, your sense of hope back. Um, you've got your sense of direction back and mojo back. So this is definitely that you're going to make the impossible happen, but also tempering yourself enough to be able to understand that everything takes its own amount of time and to not lose it or lose hope or faith when things, um, when the breakthroughs don't happen the next day. I do believe you believe in the long-term investment and I understand you know um, how important it is um, and how the, the long-term investment process works. So you're doing that now. It's almost like you're just planting those seeds for the first parts of your strategy. Let spirit be your guide, have faith. Have faith and also be objective. Kind of allow yourself to have that sort of aerial view and that objective perspective as much as you possibly can this week um, with everything that you're doing so as to not want to rush it. This is three plus two is the energy of five. So this is change. Change your perspective. Change the way that you, you are perceiving yourself and your own efforts so that you don't perceive it as failure when you don't make breakthroughs right away. That you see the work itself as an accomplishment and an, as a pleasure and as a joy um, this is also sort of foresight in in sort of that a message coming through for you to say that it is going to be okay in the distance in the future if you could see the future you or you could see even a couple miles out you would understand that everything is going to work out it's it's sort of hard right now when you're in the thick of things to understand that so this is like trying to just trust in spirit that does have that higher perspective and if you link yourself to spirit through faith through prayer through meditation through joy, through happiness, through quiet and listening and receiving. Um, there is a way that you're going to be able to, that this is your pathway through what could be um, sort of a stunted time for you. 
uh, over the next over during the retrograde but not the next week this week is the week that you need to like plan for the future basically plan out ahead so this is when you're going to send your resumes out this is when you're going to you know tap all those responses on your dating app this is this is when you're going to do it and then you'll see in about a month or so certain things starting to come like like um abundance starting to uh flow in uh, if you've linked yourself if you link not if you've linked yourself to spirit but linking yourself to spirit i think is the balm here that's what i'm trying to say it's the way to not feel so heavy and feel so burdened as you wait because you you don't you you can't we don't fly <laughs> right but this is a way of linking ourselves to something that does so that it gives us hope and we see things through spirit's eyes and just trust trust in what is to come um be fearless and bold get like i said put yourself out there get yourself out there be future forward and thinking of the future now it's really going to help to have a solid sense of yourself over the next week to really promote yourself and project and be the most glamorous version of of who you are really light see the, i love those eyes they're like lit on fire like people should be able to see the passion in your eyes introduce yourself to them with passion in your eyes this is Aries energy. There is, um, there's just a lot of momentum and confidence and passion and forward progress. So this once again speaks to the future and beautiful things coming in the future. And right now you just allowing for the prep for that period. Um, hold on. Ooh, a lot is coming out Capricorn. Um, trust in the magic, new beginnings. This is a new start, new birth, new baby, new outcome on life, new perspective. It almost feels like you're refreshed, like you somehow had this huge burden lifted of, of feeling like a failure, maybe feeling, feeling stagnated, feeling like you don't have choices. There is a lot of hopefulness coming over the next couple of days, a sense of newness and freshness and new possibilities once again planting the seeds um, for it to grow, but waiting for it to grow and not rushing it to grow and just trusting in the timing of the development of, of the ground that you're laying right now. Um, now we get into the more grounding energy. Spirit has your back. Wow. This has changed too. Do you see how it's reversed? This is 32 and this is 23. Both of it's change. So this is divine intervention and change coming. This is also your energy, Capricorn. In other words, um, it's the energy of tradition, of rules, of sticking to the rules, playing by the rules, being honorable, going long term. It's an energy of maybe government, government contracts, justice system as well. But it's your energy. It's Capricornian energy. It's taking the lead based on law, based on tradition, based on doing things the way that they should be. And, and this is all karma coming around and karma coming back and it really having your back and you seeing the payoff will happen based on having faith right now, the payoff is coming to you. Okay. Um, this is the energy of once again, nine, an energy of something coming to culminating, culminating, coming to a head, um, finding trash in a treasure heap, taking opportunities wherever they come in and being surprised that something works out as well as it is. This is maybe not even seeing the potential or being able to see um, just how beautiful those seeds are going to grow. You're planting them to have something to do. You're planting them to keep yourself actionable, like, right, right. Keep yourself in the feeling like you're doing something right. I, I, I don't think you understand just how beautiful these seeds are about to grow. This is my trash in the treasure heap card, finding opportunities wherever you can, keeping an eye out and perspective on, on those things that other people may leave behind or not see value in you taking a chance on them. It doesn't matter whether they whether something comes of it or not it's just another chance another hand you're playing another seed you're planting to give you more uh more of a um more opportunities and diversity for success diversifying your success is kind of a good 
uh, yeah, diversifying your success is really a good way to put this. Um, lay a solid foundation. It's, uh, this is Virgo energy and this is six. So six to me always relates to the energy of the lovers in the original tarot deck because that is the major arcana six. So this is laying a solid foundation now, planting those seeds of maybe in terms of love, maybe in terms of relationships, setting down a solid foundation for what you need to eventually let yourself be in or be in a solid foundation, be in a solid relationship, or just basically, um, like I said, uh, laying that solid foundation right now, laying that groundwork so that sort of like um, when the seeds start to grow, they have healthy soil to grow in. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be like laying concrete. This has to do with making sure that, um, making sure that like the, the atmosphere is right, the circumstances are right, right? It, you don't lay concrete over seeds, but you plant them in the correct type of soil. That's the way that you lay a solid foundation is to make sure that there's, you're nurturing yourself, you're, you're taking care of yourself, you're healing yourself if need be, you're giving yourself the understanding and patience that you need because Virgo is a real long-term energy too. It's in it for the long haul. So this is an acknowledgement that you know that right now you are just laying a foundation for something. That that there's, there's uh, the expectations beyond that is just that the expectations for right now is really to not project too far out, but instead to uh, focus on where you are presently and how good you do and like the quality of the products you're working with or the soil that you're working in and making sure that like you said, you're not, like I said, you're not pulling, putting, pouring concrete on top of the seeds, you're pouring nurturing soil. In other words, you're reacting to what the situation right now needs. Because if you cast too far out, there's, I think you're going to get a block of disappointment and it's not real. It's, it's, it's just sort of the, the retrograde, what's coming up. It will look like disappointment if you don't focus right here, right now, and the quality you can add and commitment you can make to what you're working in and what you can influence right now. Um, Ooh, life is speeding up. It's not, it's slowing down, right? This, this is definitely connections and the connections are happening underneath the surface. This is taking root. Things are not speeding up. They're about to slow down. And I really think the slow pace is going to, um, I mean, it depends on your mindset Capricorn because it could frustrate you, but at the same time, it could also liberate you. It could also make you feel like, okay, things aren't going too fast for me. They're not moving. They, I, I don't feel like they're moving at a thousand miles an hour. So I can't comprehend them. It makes things very tangible for you. It puts things in a, a motion that you're, that is comforting to you. So there can be comfort in this slowing down. Now is a lucky time and set healthy boundaries. Um, these two cards, I don't think this becomes, this doesn't become, um, an unfortunate, this doesn't become bad luck when it's upside down. It just means that things aren't popping up and happening as quickly, right? It, the abundance isn't coming in rapid fire. So the abundance may come in checks of $20 a week instead of one big check for $20,000. This is a trickling in of abundance and it's going to take your patience and um, um, yeah, mostly your patience and your faith to see the trickling in of of the abundance because right now that's basically what we're going to get trickling in abundance and then last but not least is set healthy boundaries but there really are no boundaries here this is really being weighed down and 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 having too much of a burden on you so this could be speaking to being too defensive or protecting yourself it, that would not be a good choice this is um pay attention to the boundaries that you're setting up Make sure that it doesn't become a concrete wall when it should be healthy soil. Pay attention to, this is, this is why things are slowing down maybe. So that you can pay attention to the quality over the quantity. So you can pay more attention to the ingredients that you're using to make sure they're appropriate. The appropriateness of the kind of boundary you're building as opposed to just building a boundary and slopping a wall up there. 
<clears throat> this is a look at the boundaries that you're setting. Um, are they too heavy? Are they too burdensome? Are they not there at all? This is that time period for you to really be able to dig in deep and see um, the validity of your actions as well as the of how productive they may be, right? Um, okay. Wow. This is a pretty big reading. Uh, oh, um, 2020. <laughs> 2020. You got it. 2020 vision. Um, let's go over to the extended. I'm going to extend this reading out if you want to join me. Uh, that link is below. I hope to see you over there. Capricorn, um, overall, this reading is very, very positive. It's just letting you realize that slowing down your mind and the slowing down that's about to happen is a good thing and finding ways to stay productive while you wait for the seeds to grow. And what I always respond, because I, I think Capricorns I make this statement more than anything. I'm tired of waiting, I'm tired of waiting, I'm tired of waiting. Don't wait, don't wait. Don't just sit there and tool your fingers or, you know, wait for, don't wait, don't wait. What, what activates you? What keeps you inspired? What keeps your mind distracted and off of, you know, the, the soil that you just planted seeds in? You can't wait for seeds to grow because you don't even see the first signs of it for a while, right? If they grow under, they don't grow up. So don't wait, plant the seeds, have faith and commit yourself, not commit yourself, but Put your energy into other places that, that feed your soul, that heal you, that make sure that you're healthy even before these new opportunities start to come in. So yeah, boogie on over to the extended. I'll see you guys over there.